I ain't gonna lie, family. I brought the sneaker for the packaging. But the sneakers is dope. But the packaging, fire. comes with a bronze hang tag. Crazy. And it come with not one, not two, but three different laces. What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, C Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And today we're doing the Social Status Air Penny 2s. Now, if you remember, I did the Air Penny 1s. These are the 2s. But social status, man, they've been underwhelming. That, that, that's the word I'm going to use. They've been underwhelming. Y'all remember the Nike social status, uh, dunk mids, chocolate milk, strawberry milk. This is my son pair. I, I got rid of mine. And then y'all remember them Jordan 6s that look like they need to go to the barbershop. It, it, social status has been underwhelming. But what they've been doing with the Penny is dope. The Air Penny 1, the Air Penny 2, minor, like, they haven't changed the silhouette at all. But what they've been doing with it is dope. Y'all probably don't remember Little Penny. I had a Little Penny doll when I was way younger. I did not know his nostalgic was going to last this long. But it was super dope. The commercials was dope. Chris Rock was the voice of the Little Penny. It was dope. But let's get into this. The packaging on this looks straight like a Marvel um, DC action figure look. This is nice, man. As far as the sneaker, social status hasn't changed anything like I told you. Instead of that Royal Orlando Magic Blue, we get a pretty ocean, wavy, I, I don't even know, but this blue is nice. Um, I don't even want to talk too much, man. Let's unbox this thing. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. So for video purposes, I took one sneaker out because the box is heavy with both of them. So only one sneaker's in there. But let's focus on the packaging right now. So on this side right here, you know like with an action figure, you have like all the strengths and abilities. That's what they kind of went for here with the shoe. As you have power, prosperity, prestige. There's a picture of Little Penny. That's how the Little Penny action figure looked from back in the days. So that side is like the power. has the social status and that nice peach pink. Right? This side here just reads Penny with a nice black swoosh. Orlando Magic colors, if you may. Social status logo. Penny logo. Nike swoosh on that side. Come around the back. Nothing. But this is where it really should have had all the abilities and things of that nature. But right here, just all the bells and whistles, Nike logo, Nike swoosh, etc., etc. This side has a warning label, just like you see on most kid toys and action figures, with another social status and Nike logo here. The front is where you got like the sneaker showing, but it's like action figure look. It says Penny, Nike. Social status logo with the Nike swoosh. That I can give the social status. 
That logo is dope. That's one of the best collab logos I've seen. And let's start with the right shoe. And here's the right shoe of the Social Status Air Penny 2. If you grew up in the 90s, you've seen this sneaker a thousand times. Um, the reason why I went with the right shoe was because it comes with not one, not two, but three different laces. Three, guys. So you got that pretty blue. Orlando Magic State. They messed with this blue a little bit in the early 2000s, I remember. They should have kept it. White, and then I guess you could go with off-white, sell white. I thought Nike was off with the uh, pouches as it's bad for the earth, but guess what she status is it? The highlight of the sneaker to me, guys, is this pink bubblegum bubble in the back. Not only is the air bubble a little bit of pink in it, but the back also has that nice pink with the Nike swoosh small. Y'all know I love a mini Nike swoosh. But let's go traditional and start with the front of the sneaker. So on the front, you see air right there creeping in on the mud guard look in that nice blue. The top has that 90s silhouette, the black, new buck suede. Not the best of new buck suede, but definitely not the worst of it. And another highlight is the highlights. So if you look here, that reflects just like a bike light. And so does this rounded material here that goes all the way up to the sneaker. Your two bubble eyelids is in that nice blue also. On both sides, they go that dope social status and Nike collaboration logo. And I think it's dope on the highlighter gray part. I like that. I didn't like this sneaker when it first dropped because of this. I didn't like all this white up here. But as I played basketball and as a kid, you realize that this material doesn't get messed up fast. And that's what made it dope. Also here, Jordan 12-like, right? Right there, you see the inside, that carbon fiber Jordan 12 like there. And that pink air bubble I showed you starts all the way up here and creeps all the way in the back, all the way around. The bottom of the shoe has that Shaq Reebok hypnosis look. Super dope. This should resume air. I remember this sneaker here was like the first to uh, introduce Zoom Air this. The Jason Kids and the uh, Gary Paytons back in the days. They got a hypnosis look again. Inside Bubble has the social status logo in there. Dope. The inside of the sneaker is also in that nice blue. We're just going to call it powdered blue or baby blue. But it's super dope. I'm going to grab the box in a minute so we could get the exact blue of that. But there you go, the inside is blue, the sock line is blue, the inside of the tongue is blue also, guys. The front of the tongue reads Penny, got the one cent Penny logo. It does look like it reflect, but I'm not sure. I think it's just a jeweled, clear cut bubble. And you also have that pull tab, 90 style. This is how you knew it was a basketball shoe. Whenever you have pull tabs, you knew the athletes had to pull it over their ankle and pull it up their foot. This is the left shoe here. Again, I looked up the blue. It just says black, cobalt, white. So I'm going to still go with icy blue, baby blue. But you got that swoosh on the back also next to the pull tab. This is the left shoe. That has the bronze hanging penny. Dope, guys. This is dope. I don't, I wouldn't wear the sneaker with it. Being that it's a 90s sneaker, you know the sneaker's already heavy. This is heavy, guys. This has some weight to it. Uh, use it as a keychain, a book bag thing, but I won't suggest wearing it on your sneaker because it's heavy, guys. But this is the left shoe and nothing's changed. Everything adds up to the right shoe besides the hanging penny bronze. Yes, sir, guys. So um, I paid $230 for these from Social Status. 
release date. I think that was like two and a half weeks ago. They finally came today. Um, the shipping could be better. Like I told you, social status has been underwhelming, but I like the idea. I like what they're doing, guys. far as the penny tools, you could get the regular version for like $140 right now. You see, the thing for me, Penny 1s was cool, Penny 2s was cool, but when the phone posit originally came out, this made Penny solidify, in my opinion. But the social status version, you might have to pay a little $20 over. So like I told you, I paid $230 from social status, but resale right now is $170, $180, so you're getting like $50 off, guys. If you a fan of like toys or or like, you know, streetwear um, items that you can just stock up. This is dope, guys. Even if you're not a fan of the sneaker, these are dope. If you're a basketball head, this is it. And you get an extra packaging just, j just for getting a sneaker that you want. So, I don't really see you losing there, man. Um, I think I like the Penny Ones better, but the presentation here... <laughs> might put the penny twos over it. Let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these, man. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching, guys. Everybody get rich.